Welcome to Rachel Skill Modeling. This is part 5 of the Airflex Hellcat Skill 1 to 24. In part 4, I am um, carried on working on the wings, uh, the structure of the actual wing. In part 5, I'm still working on the wings, putting on the coverings and uh, attaching them to the brackets before I place them onto the main fuselage at some point. So let's jump into the build. Starting off with the uh, machine guns, uh, there's three in each wind to be done and these are painted in X10 gun metal by Tamiya. Now each gun ha has a barrel, well two of them have a, a barrel to be attached initially and um, each barrel is a different size and that will correspond to the way you put them inside of the wing. So I, you have to pay attention from the start here which um, barrel goes on uh, which gun. Before I put the the uh, guns in and just putting on the bracket house in for uh, the um, area that attaches to the main fuselage. So there's a couple of parts to this. First of all you have to put the wall bracket on and that have fits in between the infrastructure of the um, wing and between the two beams there. Now remember this one is going to be showing so um, I'm not actually attaching it to the wing but I've got the wing on there in place uh, just to make sure I've got the lining correctly. Uh, this part here curves and um, it's vital that you get this um, in position. There is a, a little uh, line there, a resize mark that um, uh, runs along. But again, I'm only attaching it to the actual um, framework, not to the wing. It will take a, a little bit of manoeuvring to get it in place. Um, if you did it this way, uh, it's helpful if you hold down the infrastructure with a couple of clamps, just so it doesn't move around while you're trying to fit it. That's what I'm doing here. So it's time to take them off and just to see how it works. Also, it's better to take it off as soon as possible, just in case any glue is straight down onto the wing. You don't want it to be attached. So it's time to place in the guns. Uh, these uh, just go through the um, the holes all on the uh, bar infrastructure. If you look at the bottom of the bar infrastructure, you'll see uh, the bit I've added is sort of swinging out a bit. This was moved when I clamped it down. It also wasn't quite dry enough, so I will sort that out at some point, in case you're wondering well, why is that sticking out like that. So um, th these guns uh, go in a particular way. Um, the, the length of the, the um, barrel that you put on will dictate which uh, position you put them in. It's clearly marked on the instructions for you shouldn't have any problems with it. For the magazine cancers I'm putting the bullets in 92 brass by Rebel Aquacolor. Then moving on to 90 silver and then lastly it's H28 metal black by uh, Mr. Hobby and that's the, the same uh, black that I'm using for the outer casing as well. And each um, length of a uh, magazine, right, just move my light out of the way there, um, just fits on top of the box. Um, there's three different lengths, uh, well two different lengths and one just square ball. Um, they, they fit in the next uh, chamber along from the weapon and um, the longer one um, goes straight to the uh, machine gun that's nearest the wing route and then they go down in size uh, from there on in. So once again, once um, the, they're in place, take it off the wing and uh, just make sure everything's uh, lined up. You can see where my thumb is, the problem the thumb actually push that point in. I do fix that later on though. So now going to the actual construction of the main uh, hinge that goes from the, the wing route to the actual plane itself. Um, it's just a, a little construction here. Be wary of the location of the uh, pylons that hold the bracket. There is two of them. One goes in the middle and one goes on the edge. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to get the alignment right. I suggest putting the middle one in first before you do the end one. Let that thoroughly dry before you do the next stage. And once it's dry there's a, a little cross beam that goes right on the end of the pylons. There's two little location points for it to sit on. It can be a bit tricky to get it into alignment because it's such a small part. And then finally the um, um, outer housing for the bracket and this lays over the side bracket. There's a recess point right in the middle of the, 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 the side part of this bracket that it just sits into. But once it's all dry it's uh, time to place it on and then it just fits on the, on the back wall that I put on earlier. 
And there's two recess points for it just to slot into. Next, I was debating whether to do this part or not. Uh, these are the um, hinges that um, hold the flaps on. Um, I, I was wondering whether I should put them on or not because there's not much um, to attach them to. And I, it takes a bit of work just to uh, get them to stay on and stay in place. But I decided to do it because I may put the flaps on this wing, but I may not. But the infrastructure is still going to be there. So I thought it would be better to show it. So I'm putting these um, little hook bracket things on the um, bits of um, sprue that I, uh, well not sprue, bits of plastic card that I cut out and placed on. Now some of them will be too tall uh, for the actual bracket, but that's okay. Once they're dry thoroughly, I can then just trim the um, extra bit of sprue, uh, plastic card, keep on saying sprue, um, extra bit of plastic card that I put in to, to line up with the bracket and just pointing that out there. The next part I was debating whether I should do this or not. I done this a, a few days ago but I thought I'd include it into this update. Um, I decided to make an extra bulkhead um, for the fuselage. Wasn't sure whether I was going to use it or not um, but I just had it there uh, in place uh, just in case. So um, all I'm doing is a uh, cutting some strips of plastic card um, in fact the longer strip that you'll see me using um, that's actually a leftover strip from the Typhoon build that I done um, a year or so ago and um, all I'm doing is shipping the plastic card to, to the hull and uh, building it up so first of all I'm just getting some um, the, the height sort of measured up uh, to the fuselage also, I don't want it too wide because it would look off. I then created a rough framework uh, to those dimensions. You can see that it's on H mark. And um, I, I've taped down the um, strip of plus card um, to see how it's all going to fit in. I've also taken uh, a little bit of strip of plus card and uh, just uh, sketched in a U shape, as you can see there on the kitchen table. And then I simply cut out the um, U shape um, with, with my knife, took the excess off with my snips, and um, this will form the top of the actual bulkhead. I'm now carefully gluing it um, into position. Um, try not to get any glue on the fuselage, obviously, if you're doing this, because this will be removed once um, I get everything into position. So I'm essentially just Gluing these parts um, onto the thin strip of plastic card and uh, molded it into the shape of the, the fuselage itself. And um, I just carry on all the way around uh, the, with the plastic card, gluing it in the contact points and shaping it as I go along. Now it's not going to look 100% like the bulkheads uh, that came with the kit, but it's going to be an okay approximation. So I flipped to a couple of days later and um, I've decided to place it in and this was uh, painted in the same colour as the fuselage loss XFs into one cockpit green. So I made a couple of adjustments to it as well I should add because I had it um, too wide so I snipped it down a little bit and re remoulded it. So now it's back to the wings. And this is the second wing now, and the only difference with this wing to the first wing is I'm actually building it onto the wing itself, because this wing will be a proper wing, it will be all enclosed. So the entire wing is built um, just like the um, first one that I done, apart from the scratch build. There's no need to do any scratch building on the, this part of the wing. So as you can see here, that's the um, infrastructure in place uh, just before I place the guns in. Um, again, just like the other wing. I forgot to say though on the guns, um, after I put them in with the um, armor casing, there's actually um, three little brackets that go in as well. Uh, th these are the brackets that I'm putting in. They're sort of like an L-shaped bracket and they go on the opposite side of the um, a armor rack and they just uh, drop into place so there's a little recess point 
for them to set him and they're, they're, they're just to hold the machine gun down high with a margin. So now it's um, placing the um, brackets on for the um, flaps and these just get placed inside the wing. Remember these are the ones I put on the actual interstructure with the little extended part from the beam but these ones just placed inside the actual wing. And it's the uh, same for the other three, but these get placed more on the wing, onto the actual um, infrastructure itself. So you can see here, there's little recess points for them to sit in. And uh, that's the main wing infrastructure made up now. I'm using River Color 59 Sky here. Uh, this is going to be my main color for the underside uh, of the aircraft. And I'm just painting in the first coat along the, the edges of the aircraft um, where it meets um, uh, another part where it will be a different colour. I'm really just testing out um, how the colour is going to look. So then it's back onto the inside. This is the top wing. So this is getting its uh, coat of Tamiya's XF71 Copic Green. Um, you don't have to paint all the inside of the wing here, um, or only the res recess point that you can see molded into the plastic. And now it's time to attach the wing to the, the main structure. So um, the top part is uh, attached first, and um, it just fits in really nicely. The, um, the um, middle uh, end part that um, goes onto the structure really does help it guide it in. Um, so once you get that in place, then I recommend cementing it. Don't do it beforehand uh, in case you have to move it about in position. And uh, just uh, clamp it in position as well until it dries. You don't want this to be sliding about. So the next part, uh, this little green part here, um, it says um, if you want um, the wing to slide on and off, you have to file this down. Um, so this is the um, part that connects the wing to the main fuselage essentially as well as the bracket. This is the main component and they've de designed it in such a way that you can actually um, take the wing off and on if you, if you wish. It's a little bit tricky to do um, but if it's, it's very good for storing if you've, you want to change your models around after displaying them and you're limited for space, then you can take the wing off. It takes a careful bit of working to do it, um, but I think that's why that option's there. So you file it down and it fits in between uh, the two, uh, the main beam on the interstructure. It can be a little bit tight, hence why you have to file it down. You may have to file down the sides as well as the inner as well, depending on the location of your actual machine guns. So once it's filed down and painted, um, it just slips in. As you can see now, it's, um, it's a really nice fit. And it has no resistance now, so you can pull it in, in and out if you wish. Next to go on is a clear part for a light, I would assume. Um, this just goes on. And I painted this in Rebel Aqua Color 90 Silver. I'm not sure whether it's the, the proper colour or not, but that's the one I went for. So it's now time to place the... Um, other half the wing and uh, close up the wing. Um, again, you you can just push it in with the, that bracket if you wish. I'm having this as a solid state, so I, I'm not really using the bracket on this this one. Um, I may regret it later on when I go to store it, but you know, uh, I just wanted it to be completely fixed. So um, it, it it goes together really well, nice snug fit. You will need a, a few clamps just to uh, keep it in position while it dries. And then once the wing is in place, it's time to seal well the other wing fits. Well, I'm part five here. There's a, a tiny couple of little things to do to the wings uh, now. In part six, so uh, I will be looking at uh, attaching the wings to the fuselage and see what other processes are involved with that. So in the meantime, why don't you check out the channel for all my other videos or indeed the uh, videos for this build. Subscribe to the channel as well for any upcoming updates um, for this build and future builds. Hit that like button and of course you can leave a comment. 
But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.